Hi everyone, this is Joy with Create It With Joy for Spellbinders. Today's project is a really cute shaker card using Spellbinders Small Die of the Month for March. I had so much fun making this really cute um, shaker carrot card. Um, so I hope this inspires you to create a fun shaker card. Let's get started on this. So here is the small die of the month. You get um, the pieces for the carrot. You get a cute sentiment that says, what's up? Two little bunnies, like the bunny parts for the ears and the tail, and you get some flowers and some green leaves. I opted to just use the big carrot for this card today, but obviously you could add the cute little bunnies, um, definitely add some flowers to this. Um, I did use the sentiment because I thought it was really cute that it says, what's up? So here is the cute carrot. It will cut out a frame and it'll cut out a back piece. And then you will cut out using the leaves from the carrot multiple times. So here's what I've already done. I've already done the die cutting. I did that off camera to save time. So I used some um, orange and green cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse using the Autumn Collection. And then that patterned paper is actually from Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month uh, for March. And it has cute carrots in the background. I thought that would be darling for this card. Then I cut out three pieces of fun foam using that same carrot die cut. I just cut out the frame. Well, it cuts out the whole thing. I'm only using the frame is what I meant. And then I cut out six pieces um, of the green cardstock from the Autumn Collection from Cardstock Warehouse. And I cut that out six times because I'm going to have two carrots on my thing, on my card. Then I cut out the What's Up from the mirrored cardstock, gold mirrored cardstock from the card kit for March from Spellbinders. So now I'm just going to glue these um, carrot leaves together. And I am have the one in the center a little bit higher. And then I'm gluing the ones on the side just a little bit lower. Um, and then just holding those together and I'll trim off the bottoms and I'm going to glue both of those together using some liquid glue. Here's the second one. Again, just adding a little bit of glue to the bottom. The center leaf piece is a little bit taller than the two side pieces. And then I'm going to glue the three foam pieces together. This is white fun foam. I thought this would be the easiest. You could also do this with paper. You could cut multiple layers of paper. Again, we need to have a deep well because we are going to have a shaker card. So I did three um, layers for this frame. And then I also have the orange frame. And again, that's orange cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. And I'm also gonna be cutting out a piece of clear embossing plastic. Um, this is from Judikins. And I'll just adhere my top orange piece to the plastic using some liquid glue, cleaning up the edges. And I'm gonna trim around slightly smaller than that orange frame piece. Um, as you can see behind, you can see there's a little piece of, um, it's almost like tissue paper behind it. I left that on there so you could see this clear plastic, but that's how it comes and you can just remove that. But I'm trimming down so that way, um, we have this nice clear window to see all the beautiful shaker bits that are going to be inside this card. I was using my eraser to get some of the uh, liquid glue that had smudged on the front of that. Adding some more liquid glue, adhering down that top frame with the clear plastic on top, making sure that everything lines up and you want that um, nice and dry before you add your shaker pieces and add it to the rest of your card. Making sure everything is nice and tucked in and lined up. So now I'm going to adhere these this card piece to an A2 sized card base, and I've and I've kind of alternated how these carrots are going to look. This first carrot that's going to be just in the background is the orange base, and then it's going to have the patterned frame around it, and then the shaker card will have the patterned background and the orange frame to it really is a super simple card but I love how it came together and these this is a good size die that takes up a good portion of your card and I really really like that so now I'm going to glue down my other background piece tucking in my pretty um little carrot stems I don't even think that's what they're called though but that's what I'm going to call them and then I've got these little seed beads that I'm going to be using 
and I'm holding, my, I have things on my card to hold it down flat so I can add the seed beads to it and then I can just um, add my frame to the top. And I'm going to be using some orange, white, and green. I have more orange, um, a little bit of green, a little bit of white. I actually could have added more seed beads to this once I was done. I was like, oh, I could have added more, but it still shakes perfectly. Um, I also did not want to cover up that really cute background paper. And again, that background paper came from Spellbinder's uh, March card kit of the month. So I'm adding some glue to the back of this. Now, when I did it this way, I was wishing I kind of would have done a tape runner. Sorry about my head being in the way, you guys. Um, but I did liquid glue, so I'm not going to do my shaker card yet because some of that liquid glue kind of, you know, squeezed out a little bit from underneath, which does happen. So I'm just letting that dry before I give this a shake. Um, otherwise, <laughs> I'm going to have little seed beads stuck to the glue. So while that is drying, I am going to, I did die cut, like I said at the beginning, what's up out of the mirror gold cardstock from Spellbinders. It came in their uh, card kit. And I'm just going to adhere that down onto that other cute carrot. I just love that saying. I think it is so cute. Totally brings me back to my um, Looney Tunes day with uh, Bugs Bunny. So gluing that down, just using my tweezers to get everything lined up. Has the cute little question mark. I think this is just a really fun, cute little Easter card. And then you can stamp Happy Easter on the inside of this card when you're done. I am using some Nuvo Crystal Drops in Ripened Pumpkin and Sugared Almond. And just putting a few big dots in and around this card. I do like um, all the white that's on this card and it doesn't take away from the cute carrots and this fun um, shaker part of the card. That's all done, you guys. Look at that. Look how that shakes and moves and, and aren't those carrots so much fun? And that pattern paper is darling. Well, you guys, thank you so much again for stopping by. If you like what you've seen, please thumbs up, subscribe, comment. I hope this makes you want to go out and get this small die of the month. I just want to say thank you to Spellbinders um, for being able to do this project for you. Um, if there is some affiliate links below you guys, it costs you nothing, but it does continue to help me. So thank you for using them and I'll be back soon. Bye.